Welcome to live coverage of the PGA Tour. Today is quite an exciting day because we're welcoming a new player, the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Yes, over the past few months, the President has played so much golf that he has qualified for the world's most competitive circuit. We interrupt this regular programming to bring you this breaking development. Two Russian bomber planes were just intercepted off of the Alaskan coast. While Russian intent is unclear, the U.S. military experts have confirmed the, aggress the intention was aggressive. We'll continue to update you as this story develops. Wow, what a swing. <laughs> Donald is the first sitting president to be part of the PGA Tour. He spent much of his adult life playing as a business-related hobby, but his skills really took off thanks to his time spent at the renowned Mar-a-Lago. Breaking news as Steve Bannon has been forcibly removed from his position as chief of staff. Bannon locked himself in the Oval Office and shouted, I'm now the leader. It is me, your leader. Burn democracy, burn. More as the story unfolds. Beautiful, beautiful day today. Low winds and not a cloud in the sky. Now, for most of the athletes on the PGA Tour, it is their full-time job. However, Trump is also a part-time president of the United States. This just in, California has now seceded from the United States and is now forming its own sovereign nation. In an act of flash mutiny, the 39 million people of California have banded together and distanced themselves from, and I quote, the ass bag of modern civilization. <laughs> we'll update you as this story continues to break. What I love about golf is that it's a game of sport, but also leisure. You can play for four, maybe five hours, and the world just continues to spin. <laughs> Breaking news, the bubonic plague is back! And this plague is more lethal, more airborne, and has ravaged all the good parts of Maine. Stay tuned for developing <coughs> details. <laughs> Ooh, right in the water. What a tough break. That surely will solidify Trump's position as last in today's tournament. This just in, my co-anchor has died of the bubonic plague. It is a fast plague. <laughs> also, World War III has started and the, the White House oh, has finally issued a statement. Thank you. It's, these other golfers, they're fake, bogey trash. They should just quit golf because I am the best golfer. <laughs> There's so much. Okay, well, goodbye. This has been truly an eventful afternoon. Thank <laughs> you.